Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate it. I'm just very excited to have you as my very first uh, Viva La Mami Spotlight guest. I thought that this is a great way to, to initiate the Viva La Mami Spotlight to introduce madres um, and to kind of share about their experiences. So I'm very, very excited. So thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah, so um, if you can introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about yourself and what do you currently do? Okay. Um, well, to begin, it's crazy because it, I struggled a little bit to like answer these questions because I'm I'm so used to me asking the questions. So when yep. people ask me, I'm just like, oh, hold on. But um, basically, I'm a 32-year-old young Latina mom. I am a mom to a wonderful 10-year-old and a beautiful six-year-old girl. Um, currently, I am a realtor at Realty of Chicago. Um, I'm also the creator and maker of uh, Faith Fab Boutique. And also, I currently work part-time at the, um, where our sister works, SNS Activewear, just the part-time, just to keep, you know, income steady. You know, as an entrepreneur, sometimes it goes high and low. So I feel like it's always good to have your backup plan. So definitely a hustler mindset. Yeah. And yeah. just a human being living and doing, I always say. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you for introducing yourself. And we're definitely talk. We're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, how you're kind of like the queen of side hustles. So we will kind of yeah. touch on that. <laughs> but first, you know, um, the reason why I invited you is to kind of share your story about your motherhood journey, right? About how you became mm -hmm. a young mom um, at 21, which for yeah. some, you know, it's not a teen mom, right? But you perhaps had all of these goals and dreams, right? About your future. And then suddenly this happened, right? It was an unplanned pregnancy yeah. and an for unplanned sure. marriage or relationship marriage. that you had. <laughs> yeah. So can you kind of tell us about your relationship first, you know, with Ben, my brother-in-law, which I love, we love and you know, he he's a great man and a great father um, and a great husband to you. But can you tell us a little bit more about your relationship and kind of walk us through uh, the day that you found out you were pregnant? Oh my goodness. It was a crazy <laughs> experience for both of us. But Ben and I actually didn't late, um, date for long. I remember <laughs> when you first met him, which I feel that it was the day we conceived Julian. <laughs> But um, uh, I met him, we dated for six months. We dated for six months and he was honestly a great guy. To me, I never really had serious boyfriends and you would know. Mm -hmm. I always had like little boyfriends here and there, but Ben was different. He was always a gentleman. He was caring. He just stood out from most of the guys. Did I know that I was in love? I did not know because I was only, you know, we had just started this journey of us dating but we did rush into the relationship really quick. That is for sure. But honestly, it felt right with him. I mm -hmm. didn't have any doubts or anything with our relationship. It was a good relationship. The best six months of our relationship. Um, so when we found out I was pregnant, it's crazy because I was actually on birth control. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we were actually being active um, and I'm like, you know what? We do not want to get pregnant. Let's get on birth control. Mm -hmm. But it so happens that, you know, by the time I got on birth control, I was technically pregnant. And I remember I would not get, you know, my cycle. I, I, I went three months without my cycle. And I had asked my friend, remember Mari? Mm -hmm. um, I had asked her, I'm like, you know, I haven't gotten my, my menstrual cycle. I'm like, but I think it's a side effect from the birth control because it says that, you know, your, your menstrual cycle can, you know, mm -hmm. fluctuate. Mm -hmm. So I'm here thinking it's a side effect of the birth control. But in reality, you know, I was pregnant. So she told me, she's like, you know what? You need to take a pregnancy test just to make sure. So I'll never forget. I remember <laughs> I bought the pregnancy test. And in my room, I remember I took the pregnancy test. Um, you know, I was in the bathroom. And then I saw that it came positive. First test came positive. Yeah. And I'll never forget, like, I don't know. It was like a weird reaction. Um, I remember being scared scared but I also remember smiling mm. I was yeah like I was a part of me was happy I think I was just so scared like how am I going to do this how am I going to tell mom and dad yeah. you know so Ben was obviously the 
one of the first persons I told. Actually, um, Alejandra, our cousin, was the first person that I told. I remember mm -hmm. I actually stuck out of the house <laughs> to tell her because I was like, I have to tell someone. And you were off in college too. Yeah. Um, so I remember telling her and she's like, you know, calm down. Everything's going to be okay. But I remember also thinking to myself, is this what I really want right now? You know, I was turning 21. I was turning 21. I had thought about going back to college. I was thinking about, you know, getting my boobs done, if anything, too. Like, I had a whole different mindset going on. Yeah. So I remember being very scared, very scared. Um, I remember, honestly, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to proceed with the pregnancy. Even though um, I did have that support, I remember when I told him, um, he said he he was going to be there, you know, and he was okay with whatever decision I wanted to make. Mm -hmm. But I do remember him, you know, wanting the the baby, which is Julia now. Um, mm -hmm. So we have to like this at first, we're like, you know, what, let's just go to the doctor, make sure everything is fine. Okay. And yeah, we went to the doctor's appointment. They congratulated us. And I'll never forget. They were like, congratulations. And we were just like, <laughs> we were in denial. And yeah. I remember after that, um, we had gone to a park, just to park, just to, you know, clear our heads. And we both started crying. We were wow. both crying because of that fear of telling our parents. I think it was more that it was just the fear of being unprepared. Ben had just lost his job. Hmm. You know, I had another life plan goals that I had in mind. And, you know, when you get the news of a child that was unplanned it's pretty scary especially because we weren't married we had I had only dated this guy for eight months now by that time which isn't it isn't a lot but one thing he did always reassure me he gave me comfort just knowing that he would not leave my sight mm -hmm. you know and I did believe him and you know till now he he's still he's still around <laughs> um but I do remember um I remember that I kept it a secret because I, I'll admit, you know, I don't think I, I even told anyone, you know, but I remember thinking like, I don't want to have this baby, you know, I need to, I need to do something. And it's crazy because I always feel like God has a plan for you. Things happen for a reason. So that's when, um, Yulisa, our sister, um, she's seen the pregnancy test, the box, cause I kept the test, but she saw the box in the garbage and that's how mom and dad found out. And I'll never forget, um, I had gotten home <laughs> and I remember going downstairs and I see Julie like ironing her pants. So she looked very nervous and mom's like, come here, we need to talk. And then we went to their room downstairs and I don't know, it was just the worst, the scariest feeling because mom, I think mom was furious, but dad didn't say a word. Mm. And I think that was the worst because dad just gave me like the silent treatment and I felt like, oh, I failed on my, what am I going to do? Mm. And it was just so, it wasn't a happy feeling. It wasn't, yeah. it was a scary, sad feeling. I felt so alone. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And then when they found out, I'm like, okay, now I can't, you know, abort because mom's going to hate me even more if I were to do that. Because, you know, mom was against that. Mm -hmm. You know, at that time, I remember she said that now you're going to, you know, raise this child. So I felt like I had to do that. And mm -hmm. I mean, obviously now I think about it, I'm like, I'm so glad I did that because you know, Juju Julian gave me purpose. He changed mm -hmm. my life, but in a good way. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's why I always say things happen for a reason. For right. sure. And I still get emotional because it was very scary. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine like, you know, like we obviously have been so close and, and it's, it, it, I was even scared for you, right? It's like, uh -huh. holy crap. Like, how is her mind shift? How is her you know, her plans, even like her physical body, like how is all of this going to change, you know, just yeah. by this one action. And, and I don't think that's anything to blame. I think for the most part in our culture, there's a lot of blame and shame about yes. relationships, about sex, you know, and all of this stuff, but it's normal. But how can mm -hmm. you kind of come to a, a, a level of preparation, right? If like the what ifs, and unfortunately we were never taught about, you know, if you ever get pregnant, this is what 
we can do to support you. You know, these are the steps X, Y, Z that we can do to support you or, you know, perhaps like mentioning resources. But unfortunately, it's almost like you had to kind of figure this out on your own. Yes, or you had to wait till marriage to have. Right. That's what we were told. And I think that's one thing that upset mom and dad the most because I didn't wait till like do things the right way, like get married first and then have kids, honestly. Because I remember her saying like, what are what are the people gonna say? Hmm. You know, because yeah, I remember her saying, "What are they gonna say? What are they gonna think?" And I remember feeling very shameful because I'm like, hmm. "Wow, you know, like it it does, you know, implant to your mind, like, wow, I really failed the whole family, not just my parents, but everyone. Like, what are they going to think?" And I remember in the beginning, I was a little like embarrassed. I'm like, for them to see me pregnant you know because I'm like wow they think I'm a young mom even though I was 21 you know technically it's I'm an adult and I was responsible but just them knowing that I wasn't married or had a plan I think that's and I understand them being a parent now you know I know that they just wanted the best for me Mm -hmm. you know I understand them right but it kind of hits you unexpectedly right it's like okay now that I've done my parenting duties right on in, in the lens of my parents and I cannot speak for them but all like in a way it's like we had all these expectations and now how are we going to move forward you know how yeah. are we going to support her also but knowing that she did a sinful thing quote unquote when it's yeah. like <laughs> it's a part of life you know things happen and and like you mentioned like you you and Ben um you know you were adults and and you decided to make this adult decision um, and can you tell me a little bit more? You kind of mentioned about the f- pressures of, of getting married because you got pregnant. Can you can you tell us a little bit more about that? You know, do did both you and Ben feel pressured to get married? Were you both ready or did you think it was just the cultural thing that kind of forced you into into doing that step? We've definitely talked about it. You know, we're going into 11 years. Yeah, this year we we reached eleven years of marriage. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I'm thirty two and I'm eleven year years married. Yeah. Um, but we do talk about it. I like that we're very like transparent and open about it because it's true. We now realize at our age because technically we were little kids. Our mindset was not how it was, you know, ten years ago when we decided to tie the knot. Mm-hmm. Um, and now we do realize we are open about it, and we do say that yeah. Um, our parents did play a big role. Um, society itself, like we wanted mm. to do things the right way, even though we were um, pregnant. We we had a shotgun wedding, what they say, you know, it was a a wedding just so that we could look like we did things right. Do we do we mm. still it's like there was love? There was always love. Ben said, you know, I always wanted you to be my wife. I knew you were the one. But he's a, he says it too. He's like, I wish we would have waited, you know, to have that wedding. We could have lived together maybe before, done, you know, just do things a little right instead of rushing into it and getting married because we thought that was the right way. And I think we somehow felt like maybe that'll make mom and dad and our in-laws a little happier, like give them that reassurance that we are going to be a family. Yeah. But I really being married now, honestly, marriage does not... To me, it doesn't signify like, you know, family. Family is what you create in the relationship, mm-hmm. not just the running ring or, you know, having the same last name or whatever society, you know, thinks about it. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm glad that we're still together. You know, I'm very blessed. And, and that's that aspect, because a lot of my friends that were moms, there's two that were moms around the same time I was, they're not, um, with their significant other, you know, because, you know, everyone has their own story and I never, never, ever judge because our journey, yes, we're still together, but it took us a whole, we've been through a whole roller coaster. We've had a lot of obstacles, you know, but, yeah. um, but yeah, I'm glad we're still, we're still a team. Yeah, no, that's great. I love how you define it that, you know, you're still a team and how your family unit overpowers just like a wedding right or the traditional thing yeah yeah Yeah, that's great um so you know kind of going back to you finding out you know that you were pregnant now did you think that you were equipped you know to have this child like did you seek resources or did you just kind of you just went to the doctor and you're like okay 
what oh should I do? Yeah, I just went along with it. And that's one thing, like when I see you being a mom, I'm like, wow, I do see the difference, you know, when, mm-hmm. when um, you have a child at a later age, you know, 